everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining and logging on today. Um, and thank you so much for my feedback on my last video. I really appreciate the fact that you guys are enjoying these videos and you find them useful and they're inspiring you to get more creative in the kitchen. So this morning, I've already had my breakfast. I had yogurt, a new yogurt actually that I haven't tried before. So I'm really excited about that. And I had it with berries and I had the best caramel coffee I have tasted in a long while. I'll insert that now. So breakfast is going to be pretty much a non-event for me. I'm going to have yogurt as I usually have, but I've actually managed to find a new flavour from Aldi, and this is the plain vanilla. This is the fat-free. Um, I'm going to track it as I normally do, and this is three points per 100 grams, which sounds, again, about right from what I would have, and I'm going to have it with an assortment of berries. I have some blueberries, one key raspberries, which made me giggle blackberries and some strawberries as well, which I don't have very often, so I'm looking forward to having some of those. I recently picked this up from Aldi. You may have seen it in my recent um, grocery haul if that's gone live. I'm sure it will have done by now. Um, and what I'm going to do is that I normally don't track my coffee, guys, because I don't really drink a full mug and also I am just maintaining so I kind of use my weeklies for that but feel free to do it and for argument's sake so you guys know this actually comes up as zero points per serving anyways I and mean, when it even says on the jar that it's two calories per cup which is incredible. Some of you guys have asked me why all of a sudden I've started using lactose free. I can actually drink regular semi skimmed milk but Andrew doesn't like to consume lactose products um, and we discovered this one from Aldi and honestly I can't taste the difference so it doesn't make sense buying a milk for me because I don't have, like I literally have one or two a day. And breakfast is done, coffee, yogurt and fruit and that is three points. And it was delicious. Honestly, guys, that caramel with the creaminess of that yogurt, I just, I was living my best life eating that. Um, so I really enjoyed that. And now it's lunchtime. I need to go out and prepare an omelette. And I think I might have it with a little bit of pancetta. And I hope you all enjoy it. And tonight, I'm going to be making a family spaghetti bolognese, which is one of my favourite meals. And FYI, I haven't had pasta in eight months. I normally just eat the sauce and call it a day I might have a bit of garlic bread but today I'm fancying a little bit of pasta so I'm gonna try and work it all in it's mega exciting it's from the wellness that works we watches app the recipe um so yeah but let's not get ahead of ourselves let's go and make lunch let's go and make an omelette and we'll get on with the day so obviously um eggs are free on Weight Watchers, so I'm not going to concern myself with the eggs too much. However, I normally have two eggs and an egg white, so that's normally what I would have in an omelette. Oh my gosh, this one is cracked. And I also have this pancetta, which I get from Aldi, cut off the bacon, and it really like kind of crisps everything up and just gives an extra flavour, a bit more texture and dimension. So I'm going to have that, and that's pretty much pretty much it. A pretty standard lunch for me, again, when I'm feeling like I don't want too much. I don't want a big heavy lunch. I've got some salt and pepper in my bowl. I'm going to add a little bit of butter, the eggs, whisk it all together and then pop the pancetta in and just, yeah, cook it. You guys know how to make an omelette, so insert music now. So I am going to weigh out, however, my pancetta. I don't go completely mad, like stuff like this I, I do weigh out. Um, so I'm just going to put a little sprinkling on the weighing scale and that is 41 grams and I'm just going to check what that equates to on my app. So 41 grams is 4 points which is more than fine for me. Do you know what guys, I'm actually going to have all the pancetta because it's actually only a point more to have the entire serving so I kind of figure why not. I'm just gonna grab a couple of easy peelers and then head off. I love it when my fruit bowl is bulging like this. So this is the meal that we're having tonight. It's the classic spaghetti bolognese and it is eight points. I'm just going to scroll so you guys can see um, what ingredients um, are included. I obviously add a few things and that kind of thing and this is for 60 grams with the pasta. So the pasta is included within that eight point allowance. This recipe, you're going to need some lean steak mince. You have some stock here 
mushrooms, some fresh basil, um, a brown onion, an assortment of peppers, obviously I don't use green but feel free to use whatever colour you would like, two cloves of garlic, I have some olive oil here, this is an organic one that I use all the time, it does say calorie controlled spray, feel free to use that if you want to be like strict about it, I tend to prefer to use olive oil and if you're pointing you can simply point it in or if you're not being strict and you're just maintaining like me, you know by the time you've divided this the people that are eating it's probably not even going to equate to a point so it's not really worth worrying about then i have some salt and pepper in this little um dish here parsley and oregano so yeah that is what's in there and i'm just going to get started browning I like to again really work it and really separate it all because there's nothing worse than big balls and lumps of mince um, when it comes to a chili or a pasta sauce so the recipe calls for two of these which is two tins of chopped tomatoes however I'm going to be using a combination of chopped tomatoes and passata both of these are from Aldi and the reason that I am mixing passata with chopped tomatoes is I feel like this is a much richer flavor um, it has something about it that just it just adds a really lovely texture, a really lovely smoothness, and it's a little less harsh. Basil and the herbs and spices all combined, it's just gonna make for a really lovely base, and then obviously we have the stock as well. Okay, so I'm gonna add my chopped tomato first, and kind of stir all of that in, let it combine, and then I will go ahead and add the passata. Normally you would add this at the same time if you're using two tins of chopped tomatoes because there's no need to do it separately. But I just prefer to work this in first and then I will use the passata next and add the herbs and spices along with the um, stock and salt and pepper as well. And I feel like it just gives all of the ingredients a chance to really infuse together and really cook down nicely. I'm going to turn up the heat ever so slightly now. I mean, I'm not a cook, guys. Like, I'm not a professional or anything like that. This is just what I like to do personally. I'm one of those people that will sit and watch cooking shows and get all the hints and tips and tricks. And the favourite of mine that I love to watch um, is Marco Pierre White. I think that's his name. Um, his spaghetti bolognese recipe is perfection. And... He always goes on about working the mince, which is why I feel like it's so, so important. And you'll see it now just with the texture. It's just really, it's just perfect. So if you can take the time, I would definitely recommend for you to do so. And now I'm going to add the passata as well. Do let me know if you would prefer more chatty what I eat your days rather than just the music. Um, normally I don't really do much talking unless, you know, something requires an explanation. But in this case where I'm like telling you guys the reason I do things, I think it can be quite interesting just to learn why someone might do things in a certain way. So do let me know if you like a mixture going forward or if you just prefer the traditional way because to be honest, I'm not too fussed but it is nice to have a chat with you guys. Super rich sauce, a really lovely consistency and the mince has separated so nicely. It's not all clumpy and disgusting so I do love that. And now I'm going to add the spices and the herbs. boil now so I'm going to pop it onto a simmer I'm going to pop the lid on and I'm going to leave it while I get on with the pasta I'm going to leave it for a good 30 minutes on a really low heat again just to let all those flavors infuse together and later on I can get on with the pasta the garlic bread any accompaniments that I want but that is just going to sit and chill bubbling away um not physically chill I mean it's going to relax <laughs> on the hob absorb all the flavors and then later on you know it'll be great to serve up and also you could finish this off in the oven just as easily because these cast iron dishes can go into the oven so feel free to pop it in the oven for some cooking time as well but i'm going to leave it onto the hob which is fine so yeah it's also worth noting not to forget that you know this is only an eight point serving so you could totally have double the pasta value and you're not looking at a massive point value for your dinner i mean this is eight points which normally i would spend about 15 on my evening meal so 
I could definitely add more pasta, but because I'm not overly bothered about this specific component of the meal, I'd rather have bread as well. I'm not going to, but if you keep, if you think that's a bit feeble, which it definitely is for the point value, then feel free to have double the portion and just have, you know, have it take more of your dailies or have it with accompaniments like myself, bread, whatever, salad, whatever you want. Speaking of accompaniments, I picked up these recently. Um, I don't know if you saw my most recent Aldi haul. I'll link it above in case you haven't. But I picked up the reduced fat garlic slices. Three points a serving, which I believe is two points less than a regular slice, which is amazing. and it was such a refreshing change to actually have a little bit of pasta although I have to say I didn't miss it like I didn't eat it and think oh my god like why have I cut this out in fact I would go as far as to say that I actually think I prefer it with just the sauce and the bread and um, because it can be quite heavy with the pasta but it was a nice change I really enjoyed it it was really flavorful and honestly working at mince made all of the difference the sauce was just divine I really enjoyed it um, but for now I'm just about to make my last food and drink of the day so that I would quickly share it with you and also sign this video off so I'm going to be having a hazelnut chocolate stick these are the Weight Watchers ones that you will have seen in my ambassador box that I got and these are two points each which means that today I have spent 26 points which is a little bit over so if you guys are on 23 you might have to use some of your weeklies to completely duplicate today but other than that I have two left on my daily so really happy with that as I said, I'm gonna have one of those with a coffee. This is the caramel coffee that you saw me have this morning. Normally I wouldn't have a coffee this close to bedtime, but I'm just craving it a little bit. And because the calorie value on this is so low, I feel like with a little bit of chocolate, it's a bit of a treat. So I'm gonna sign off here, guys. But I really hope you enjoyed this What I Eat In A Day video. Please give it a thumbs up to see more of these from me. Comment, like, subscribe, all of that good stuff. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.